Sometimes this is too hard to believe. But you can accept the strangest fact that you were wrong. Yes, but that and this endless vacuity is horrible. The Ancient Ones were here. They delivered themselves into the world. The time-worn cycle turns with ages. The seasons drift along the stream. They wait for the past. The future brings the forming storm. This is no place for a home, for anyone.
and bargained with their kind. Throughout the town they stood in fear of the brilliant fighter near. Nice to see you. Everyone in Gorhart is talking about the attacks. They say that the Red Legion is receding back into the shadows from whence they came. It is all thanks to you. You found the formula and destroyed it. Now, you may think you understand the impact of this act, but you truly do not. You are a friend to this village and to me, Nanny Hanry. Take this. It is not much, but it gives you an idea of my gratitude. 
He seems so eager to aid me in my work that I failed to pursue the proper references. Yes, I have only myself to blame for this catastrophe. How was I to know he was a scout and a thief? His interest in alchemy appeared genuine. Our friendship was that too an act. Goodbye. Faye in Gorhart. It isn't right. You're welcome in my shop anytime, and please enjoy a discount on all services and merchandise. Farewell. Fay in Gorhart. Need something? What is it? You made it. Just in time, too. Give me the potion. It will help, but it's not enough. Someone must go to the Fey and explain what happened here. One small misunderstanding and we'll no longer just be strangers to the Fey. We'll be enemies. She is a member of the House of Ballads, the legendary court of Fey heroes. They are warriors without equal, with centuries of glory to their names. If one of their own was killed by a mortal, the House of Ballads and its king would bring a fierce vengeance upon us. Gorhart would be a ruin by day's end. I'm not sure yet, but this is bad. She's Fey. Even worse, she's a knight in the House of Ballads. Fey don't kill their own, so it must have been someone in Gorhart. If the House of Ballads learns of this, the King will burn Gorhart to the ground. They see all mortals as invaders. We could go to the Warsworn and get an oath of protection, but that would require payment. We mustn't cover this up. But who do we tell? You're turning out to be very helpful, my friend. You have my gratitude. I'll see to it that you're honored. Rumor says that the House of Ballads has its headquarters not far from here, in Glendara to the northeast. Try to gain entrance if you can.
Once they fought the beasts of chaos, marching to glory through many victories. Sadly, they fell, as all great men do. Now they're nothing more than hired blades. Anyone can earn their allegiance with a few pieces of gold. All I know is what I learned in my youth. The heroism of King Wenson and his court of enchantments. My grand spoke of them nightly as she sat by my bedside. For all I know, the House of Ballads is nothing more than myth. But I have a feeling that it exists somewhere out in the deep mists of the Feylands. It's east of here, in the meadows of Yolven. The Feylands are a wicked place. Crawling with creatures so strange, you'll assume you're dreaming. Farewell. What is it? <laughs> Times are hard, but hard times can pay if you're willing to take risks. If you have the sword and stomach for this sort of work, we could use another strong arm among the warsworn. Peaceful enough, if it's peace and quiet you like. Trouble with bandits and rogues now and then, that's when they send for me. There's a war in the east, and Dalentarth's got our own troubles with the Red Legion thieves. Some say they've seen Tuatha in these parts. Fools, I'll believe that when I see it. That's me, war sworn since before you've been drawing breath, an oath blade near as long. Easy now, stripling. Earn your way to Pledge Shield first. Then, in five or ten years' good service, you'll make Oathblade. A name taken by some lot of scoundrels to glorify their thievery. A name breeds fear and doesn't die like a man. But killing the men who use the name is a start, eh? <laughs> Shieldring, the oldest home to the Warsworn, in the Feylands at least. They're unlike any Fey you've ever seen. Red eyes to match their armor, and fierce as rabid wolves. <laughs> Fey are folk, but not mortal folk. They're not concerned with the things we mortals are. What have you been living under? We've been at war with the Tuatha for 15 years. Some may try to color it with fancy words, but we're warriors for hire, the best in these lands. You'll find those who have taken the oath are held in the highest respect all over Amalur. Think if you must. If I'm not here, you could take your chances with old Tyne and Shieldring Keep without my endorsement. He'll set you to work. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be shy. Come here. Need supplies? Try the corner. Welcome. Welcome to Gorehart, the last settlement before the Feylands. How can I fill your pack today? The Alfar and the Tuatha have been at each other's throats for nearly a decade now. I can't remember the reason. I wonder if they can, the fools. You will find it settled on a small lake beside the Eastern Road. Compared to Gorehart, Dydenhill could be called a city. 
The Fae are elemental creatures, magical and strange. None too considerate of us mortals, either. They see us like pets, or worse, like bugs. It's best that you stay out of the Eastern Forest. I've seen things you can't even imagine. The road is dark and dangerous, and it's a long hike to Dyden Hill. Some call it the Camp of Cowards, on account of it being settled by those who refuse to enter the forest. Can you blame them? Never trust a wood that whispers. There's Nettie the Smith, and Nanny handles potions and remedies. The inn's across the way if you fancy a pint. Keep an eye out for the Red Legion, though. Oh, I doubt it's an organized group. More likely that it's one scared idiot with a knife. I heard someone in the village mention the Red Legion, but that can't be true. Me? Widowed, going on five years now. All my boys were taken by the Tuatha. Both sons, my brother, and my beloved Avery. Wicked business, this war. I refuse to speak of them. Please respect my wishes. Come see me again. In the country of Nirilim's embrace, the summer manifests as an immortal fae. You know her, him, it, as the resplendent warrior or the ardent conqueror. You mortals named him King Issa. In the youth of your people's memory, you bore witness to Issa's exploits. He is your legend of might and eminence. Come, listen to a tale of Issa and On, the god Storm. The Withering War.
Don't bother me. Ugh, finally. Someone that looks like they could stand up to a moderate breeze. There's need for an adventurer such as yourself. Me and a crew are mounting an expedition to a new land south of here. Alex's brainchild, if you can believe it. I don't share his optimism about the loot we'll find, but if we get only a fraction of it... Alex's brainchild, if you can believe it. I don't... Made a living pillaging the ruins of old places like Talarain. Robbing the dead tastes better than stealing from the living. I'm a good enough thief. Never once been caught. Still have all my fingers, or didn't you notice? The name's enough to put most explorers off. Bugger them, I say. Just less competition. Besides, what's in a name? I spent two years trying to make a fortune in a land called the Painted Orsks. Never did find out what an Orsk was. Ah, clever and strong, I see. It's as I said. We're going to the teeth of Naros, the land south of Dalentarth. If you want more information, seek Helic Cross. He's leading us. We're camped beyond Edmere. Enough of that. 